Hi everybody, I'm excited to share some new releases with you from Kitchen Sink Stamps. This is part of the July 2020 summer release. Um, we're going to focus on two stamp sets today. The first one is called Tropical Fish, and this one comes with some angelfish and some uh, clownfish. Of course, you get the suggested um, layering guide and the alignment guide. All of their stamps are high quality clear photopolymer stamps made here in the United States. You can keep your color layering guide. It comes on this clear sheet. It really does help to line up where you're going to be stamping. I like to use mine to put my stamps on. Personal preference on how you would like to use that, but it does come with that. And then you have two sheets of acetate protecting your stamps. So normally what I do is I take my stamps and move them from here to here. So um, you don't need to do that right now, but I just wanted to tell you guys that. Uh, so the stamps are super cute. Let me show those to you. Lots of fun sentiments. Swimming by to say hi. Best fishes. Happy holiday fishes. Seize the day. Just clowning around. You are fantastic. Keep calm and swim on. And happy birthday fishes. Here you can see the Nemo fish or the clown fish. And then over here is Dory or the angel fish and lots of little fish to fill in as well. Okay, so really, really cute set. I can't wait to start stamping this out. Now also with kitchen sink stamps, whenever you purchase their stamps, you can get a free SVG download. And what a SVG download is going to allow you to do is to die cut them. So I believe with this set, you get all of these here. I believe you get the three banners and you get the, the two fish. So I've already done a video. I will link that for you guys where you can go on to your scan and cut and how you download these. The important thing is to remember they are free at the time of purchase. So what you do is you put your stamps in your basket online and then you put your SVG in the basket with it. And then the SVGs will be free. You'll get an email. You'll download them. You can cut these SVG. I use the Brother Scan and Cut, but you can also use your Silhouette Cameo machines. You can use your Cricut machines. And yes, I have I've used it with the Cricut Joy. So um, it's the perfect size actually for the Cricut Joy because you don't have to waste a whole piece of paper. You can line these up and do a little card size piece of paper and cut them out. Okay. So that is the first set. And again, they don't sell dies because it saves on cost because most of us already have an electronic cutting machine. So you just download it and cut it out. Okay. The second set I want to show you guys today is called the Giant Coral and Seahorse. Now, this is a much bigger set. Again, very intricate in the design here. That's what makes these stamps so unique is they have this realistic 3D look to them. So on this one, you get a layering seahorse. You also get a layering piece of coral. And let me show you the stamp set here. So here you can see the coral is three pieces, one, two, and three. I have that backwards. There we go. <laughs> Not that it matters when it's on camera, right? Anyway, um, then you have the, the actual seahorse which is, looks like he's six layers. So he's a pretty nice size seahorse. I'll show him to you right here. Okay. And then you get two smaller seahorse. You get a little one here and a different small one here. So nice size set. Again, I downloaded the SVGs and cut them out for you. You get this background layer for the coral or you can layer it up with this piece on top. So you can do a couple different colors. Or you can put this one and then this one, you know, so you can do it any other way you want there. And then, of course, you have the seahorse and one of the smaller seahorse. So those are the SVGs. Again, put them in the basket at the time of checking out, and they are free, and you get a separate email to download them, and then you can cut them out. If you don't have the SVGs or you just got a cutting machine, you can always go back and purchase the SVGs separately later. Okay, so let's stamp some of these out. One of the suggestions that I make when 
stamping um, these out is to keep your kind of your background here because what this is going to do is help layer this for you and I'm actually just going to cut this down a little bit so it fits in my misty so if you're a type of person that shies away from layering stamps because you have a difficult time layering them I know some of you guys have arthritis some of you have some uh, blurred vision this definitely helps out it's a little trick so once you die cut them out you can always stamp and go to your scan and cut and and do that but this is uh just a different trick here i wanted to show you i'm gonna grab my misty So now that we have this template, is what I'm going to call it. I have a little piece of sticky grid in there. I'm going to focus on our little seahorse here. Excuse me. So we're going to have our seahorse die cut ready to go. All right. And then according to our layering guide, number one is up in the corner here. The other reason I like using the color guide because when I'm done stamping I can put them back in the correct order so I'm just going to gently push that stamp into my little die cut opening here okay I'm gonna have to move it a little closer so I can see but I can see through the stamp because again it's high quality photopolymer stamps They keep sticking to my nails. Okay. I think we're good there. I'm going to close my misty door. All right. Now I can put my die cut back in place. See, that just fits in there perfectly. And then I'm just going to use, let's see here, I guess some some Alta New inks because they're right here for me. Okay, so some orange and some coral colors here so we'll try these out all right so for the first layer I'm going to use sun kissed by Altenew and these are new stamps so I can already see it's starting to resist the ink all you have to do when that happens is wipe this stamp off it's because they have a little residue from manufacturing and then I like to use a little bit of Versamark. And because Versamark is a very clear, sticky ink, what it does is it just fills in all of the um, surface area of the stamp. So now that ink is sticking much better. Once your, your stamps are used a couple times, you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so that's layer one up. Oh, his tail was off a little bit. Let me see if I can fix him. Kept sticking to my fingernail. There we go. Because he's on a die cut and he's going to come out when we, I can re-stamp just the bottom of that. Since this is the first layer, the whole thing's going to be solid anyway. There we go, got them all fixed up. 
little bit on his belly. So another advantage to stamping on a die cut is because you get to see that mistake on the very first one. And that first layer is the one that matters um, for your alignment. So now we fix that. No one's ever going to know that I was off alignment there. Okay, so now I'm going to put this back on the clear sheet like that. I mean the colored guide. Okay, now we're going to go to number two, which is the one next to it. Pretty good. And I'm going to use rouge this time. Oops, I keep forgetting. Let me do Versamark first. Wipe it off. Just helps that ink adhere. Once, like I said, you do this the first time, you generally don't have to go back in and do it again. Starting to get that dimension on there. Okay, layer three. going to go in with some orange cream. Now if you don't have these inks and you don't know what color inks to use, use what you have, but you can go on the Kitchen Sink Stamps blog and they have color recipes. The color recipes will show you different examples of these images stamped out with different manufacturers ink. So there's Momento ink, there's Catherine Pooler inks, and um, with the new releases, she's really added a lot more ink colors, so it makes it more fun um, with using what you have in your own stash. So Stampin' Up! up, um, all to new, things like that. Okay, layer four. Going with some autumn blaze. Look at that dimension coming through. Wow. Sometimes if you have trouble lining them up, you can also go backwards. You don't have to go one, two, three, four, five. You can go five, four, three, two, one. Just take some practice. Wow, look at that. So pretty. Okay, and then the last layer is layer six. Definitely using the die cut help with the alignment for me. Okay. And then layer six is kind of like a really dark shadow layer. Okay, I think that's 
that's aligned correctly. I'm sorry if my head was getting in the way. some grapevine. Let's get dark maroon color. There we go. I think I have that one off a little bit, but you can see all of the dimension in there. I do have that one off a tiny bit. And then we just pop it out. And we have a 3D seahorse. How cool is that? All right, let's try the coral because it's only three pieces. And then maybe we can put a little scene together. So here is the tiny little guy. We can do him real quick. Where is the little die cut for that? Pop him in there. done little baby there okay and now let's do this coral I'm gonna do the solid one which is this one here move these inks out of the way could actually do both at the same time, but I'm just going to do one for right now. So again, we have the solid layer right here in the middle. Sticking to my misty Okay, there we go. This happens with new stamps. Okay, here we go. I've only said here we go like a hundred times now. <laughs> I'm gonna put our die cut back in there. Now they've used some purple ink, so. Let's see, what do I have for purple? Use those three alternate inks. So we have soft lilac, lavender fields, and deep iris. So those are the three we're going to use. I'm going to start with my Versamark because this is a large stamp. Let it fill in that surface area of the stamp before we try to get the ink to adhere. Because these are smaller, I might have to go to larger inks because this is a pretty large stamp and I don't want those little square marks to show up. That sometimes happens when you use smaller ink cubes on larger stamps. I might switch over to some other inks here. My magnet is in the way. Gonna grab some larger ink pads. 
going to use Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. So I'm going to finish this first layer in soft lilac because we're already there. But you can see the lines are from the stamp pad because these are small ink cubes. And I don't want that on my image. So I am going to stamp this again, but then I'm going to switch to larger ink pads for the second and third layer. Okay, still pretty. Okay, layer two is this bottom layer. Versa mark first. And then I'm going to use Highland Heather for this one. This is a Stampin' Up ink pad, but you can see how much larger that ink pad is. Much easier to get that full coverage. And if you don't have three different shades of the ink, you can always go in and double stamp with the ink color you just used and it will come out darker. Look at that dimension in that already. Okay, and we're gonna bring in the final layer for the coral. Stamp with the verse, ink it up with the Versa mark first. And next time I won't have to use Versa mark. I can go right in with the ink. This is gorgeous grape from Stampin' Up. Look at that! It always blows me away when I reveal these stamps because. It looks 3D, it looks so dimensional. Okay, we're not done there. Um, if you're not aware, Kitchen Sink Stamps now also offers some background printables. Um, they are designed to be used with foiling. So we can actually take this and step it up a notch. I mean, that looks pretty all by itself right there. So this one is the seaweed printable, we call them wallpapers because they are the backgrounds to your kitchen sink stamps. So you can of course use it like it is and then put this on here. However, the fun part is this is gonna be printed on your laser printer from home. If you don't have a laser printer, um, that's really what you need in order to get the fun out of this. So I've printed one and I've already foiled it and this is in some green foil. Now, if you wanted to stamp directly over this, you could. My suggestion is to print it first like I've done here, then stamp over it and then foil it because you don't want to stamp over your foil or your ink will kind of um, smear. So in this case, because I'm using die cuts and I've already foiled this as the background piece, I can just start assembling this. So I'm gonna cut this down to card front size. Let's see if I can get this to five and a quarter by four. How big is this? Oh yeah, that's like the perfect size. Okay, so I may be able to get two card panels out of this. Here. Okay, so now this is card front size. 
It's a little smaller than card front size. So here is my A2 size card. I'll put that on there. And then we can easily layer this on there. I'm gonna take it up one more notch here. Let's really change this around. The paper that I printed this on is a semi-gloss paper. Which means it's going to accept ink. Should have grabbed some post it tape. There we go. Now, this paper you can find, um, I'll link it down below my Amazon shop. It's semi gloss paper. It works great for foiling. As you can see, it takes ink beautifully. Now, I want my foiling to stand back out. So, I'm actually going to. We'll take a little Distress Sprayer because that was water reactive ink. You can use almost any dye ink. Um, distress inks will work as well. And I'm going to do some kind of big droplets on here. Just like that. Okay, and you can see already that the ink is starting to lighten and lift. The longer you leave it on, the whiter it's going to get. Let's take a paper towel, lift that off of there. What I'm also going to do with the paper towel is just kind of wipe my foiling. So that way, any of that blue ink that's on my foil is going to come off and my foil is going to pop. So now I have this aquarium-like background. Very cool. And I'm going to use some foam tape. My big roll of Arteza foam tape here. I'm gonna glue this down to my card front. How much fun is that? Foiling, ink blending. Some 3D looking stamped images. there and then for the seahorse could pop him up again I'm just gonna glue the little one down and I'm gonna put a little bit of foam tape behind this guy as well
tiny piece on his head there. There we go. Ah, sticky foam tape stuck to me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and there we go. Look how easy that was. Okay. Took a couple of steps, but they weren't hard steps. They're very easy to do. So again, you can get these stamps, SVGs, for free with the stamps and the downloadable wallpaper, the foiling background from Kitchen Sink Stamps. I'll link everything down below for you. This wallpaper is seaweed, and again, you print that out, you stamp on it, and then you foil it, or you can foil it and this use it as your background. You can see how beautiful that is. The stamp set that I have used here is called the Giant Coral and Seahorse. And again, put the SVG in your basket as you're checking out, and it will be free, and you can use it with your Cricut Joy. You can use it with your Silhouette Machine. You can also use it with your Scan and Cut, as I have done here. Wow, that just looks really cool. So there we go. The other stamp releases are the Multi-Step Tropical Fish and also the Trout. Let me show you guys that one. Again, the Multi-Step Tropical Fish has the Nemo and Dory or the Angelfish and Clownfish with some cute sentiments. The SVG has some banners to cut out with that. And then the other fish is um, the brand new Trout Fishing, which is near and dear to my heart for those of you who know me. There we go here. And then this one has, um, we'll do another video on this, but it has a five-step trout. There's a little fly here, and it says, you're a great catch, best fishes, and gone fishing. So great um, for any of the anglers you have in your life. So there we go. Keep an eye out. If you have any questions, post them down below. I will link everything that I use down in the description for you. Um, I will post for you the scan and cut video as well. That'll help some of you guys out. And again, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.